Hey guys, hope you're all well. It's Mulv here, and today I'm proud to announce that we're back up and running successfully without too many problems. I know that some of you are still having some trouble connecting to the website and the program, but don't worry, that's easily fixable, and I'll show you how to fix it in this video. But first, let me go ahead and show you a new video tutorial, video demo of Mulv. This is version 1.06. It contains a number of um, bug fixes and other things of that kind. It should load up relatively quickly. You have your search button here. Let's go ahead, firstly, and type in something. Let's type in, let's say, George Michael and Faith, because at times like these, we got to have Faith, all that, and he's been a childhood fan of mine for a long, long time. Okay, um, it will bring you down with a set of results. You can sort by length, bit rate, size, girth, circumference, and um, all the other stuff. George and Michael Faith, 320 bit rate, 7 megabytes. Let's go ahead and save it, replace it. And down below, you see it pick up soon. Not sure, someone's abusing my telephone line. Anyway, there you go. This is using max out your bandwidth connection and 7 megabytes finished in what, like 6, 7 seconds. That's quite decent. And let's go ahead and double click and see what happens. It should open up. You know, that's right. Okay, so after we've got our Michael fix on, we can go ahead and show you how we can delete your private data from your browser, uh, which will enable you to start viewing the new version of the site. At the moment, some of you are viewing the old version. Uh, this is because all your internet temporary files are still there, haven't been cleared. Okay, it's pretty easy to do. Go to Start. Well, Firefox will open it up because I'm pretty sure most of you are using that at the moment. Okay, hit the Alt key on your keyboard. Go to Tools, Clear Recent History and clear everything now. After you've done this, go ahead and close your browser and then down back to start to your run field. Click run if you're using Windows XP. If you're using Windows 7, just type in CMD into your run field like so. Click enter. This will open up your command prompt, okay? So after you've got that running, you want to type in ipconfig like so forward slash flush DNS and this will flush, this will delete your um, DNS resolver cache pretty much which is all the, which you don't need for at the moment okay so it's cleared that now if you go back to Firefox or whatever browser you should open the site successfully mob.com okay there we are everything's working, functioning, all the buttons work, everything works now, additionally, I want to answer a few of your questions. I know that since the wave of people started talking about Mulv, there's been a lot of assumptions made as to who we actually are, what we do, and you know whether or not we're FBI. Thing is, I don't believe we're the FBI. We're not located in some secret Russian underground facility. We're you know two average guys. There's nothing super secretive about us, or nothing that we will be telling you <laughs> soon. Um, Okay, um, apart from that, we have a lot of requests coming in for a Mac version. In the meantime, you can run Mulv on your Mac very easily by using one of the many Windows emulation programs out there. You know, things like Crossover, Parallels, VirtualBox, there's a lot of programs that will run Mulv in a virtual environment, and you can run it with ease, pretty much. We may release a Mac version in the future, however, at the moment, we're lacking the funds to do so. We need to buy equipment, we need to buy all the stuff needed for development. It's a lengthy, lengthy process. Okay, I think that's all for now. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below, and um, I will create a new video response. Make sure to check out our Facebook page to stay updated, and our Twitter account. Thanks.